Anchoring handrails or securing any object to concrete or masonry using threaded rods, rebar, bolts, or dowels requires a high strength permanent bond, especially applications that will be subjected to heavy loads or vibration. Depending on your specific anchoring application, QuickRete manufactures an anchoring epoxy that will fit your project requirements. QuickRete FastSet Anchoring Epoxy is 100% solids, two-component epoxy in a single cartridge with a working time of about five minutes. FastSet Anchoring Epoxy's non-sag characteristics make it ideal for both vertical and horizontal use. QuickRete High Strength Anchoring Epoxy is also 100% solids, two-component epoxy in a single cartridge, but its extended working time make it particularly suited for applications where multiple anchors must be set. High strength epoxy also has a pullout strength of over 30,000 psi, making it ideal for heavy duty applications. Quickrete anchoring epoxies have a cure time of just two hours for fast set anchoring epoxy and three hours for high strength anchoring epoxy. First, drill a hole a sixteenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch larger than the diameter of the threaded rod or railing you are setting. The hole depth should be a minimum of four and a half times the diameter of the bolt. So half inch threaded rod would require a hole depth of two and a quarter inches. Increasing the depth of the hole significantly increases the tension load that the anchored rod can withstand. After you have drilled the hole, blow out the dust from the bottom of the hole. Cans of compressed air work well for this task. Then use a nylon brush to remove any remaining debris from the hole, rotating the brush a quarter of a turn as it's removed from the hole. After brushing, use the compressed air to remove any remaining dust. Once the holes are properly prepared, insert the anchoring epoxy cartridge into the caulk gun. It is highly recommended that a high quality, high strength dispensing gun be used because of the significant amount of force required to dispense the two part epoxy through the static mixer nozzle. Then, remove the plastic cap from the tip of the cartridge. This should be easily accomplished with your fingertips, but pliers may be necessary. Dispense a small amount of epoxy into a disposable container until you get an even flow of both the black and white material. Then, attach the static mixer nozzle onto the cartridge and dispense enough epoxy until a consistent gray color is achieved with no streaks. Place the tip of the dispensing nozzle into the bottom of the hole and fill the hole about 5 eighths full while slowly withdrawing the nozzle. Then, insert the threaded rod or rebar to the bottom of the hole while turning clockwise. Remove any excess epoxy from around the hole with a putty knife or a piece of cardboard. Leave the anchor undisturbed